Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here back with another episode of Crypto Corner to end the week and start off the new month. For news today, SBI's crypto arm has made the company's securities trading profitable, according to a new financial report. Hive has appointed a new board member. Long Blockchain has signed a letter of intent to merge with Strand Promotional Solutions, and Telegram has debuted a test desktop wallet for its Gram token. So SBI Holdings Inc., which is traded on the Tokyo Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol 8473, released a report indicating its financial results in the six months ending on September 30th, 2019. According to the report, SBI VC Trade, which includes the company's crypto asset exchange, contributed a surge in profits to 3.246 billion yen, that's roughly 30 million US, from a loss of 765 million yen, or $7.1 million US. An excerpt from the report reads, quote, SBI VC Trade, which became a subsidiary of SBI Securities from July of this year, has continued its steady performance and SBI Crypto, which performs crypto asset mining, has maintained its profitability. Other crypto asset related businesses are in preparation in anticipation of the revisions in the Financial Instruments and Exchange Act and in the Payment Services Act, which are scheduled to be enacted in April 2020. End quote. Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol HIVE or Hive, has appointed Mr. Dave Perrell to its board of directors. According to the press release, Perrell is the founder and CEO of Compute North, a rapidly growing data center company that offers low cost and efficient infrastructure services for clients in the blockchain, crypto mining, and the broader high performance computing space. Frank Holmes, Hive's interim executive chairman, commented, quote, Mr. Perrell provides Hive with significant expertise in helping cryptocurrency miners maximize large-scale data center operations with improved operational efficiency, a vast knowledge of the North American electrical power and cryptocurrency mining environment, as well as IT, information security, and business expertise. We are very pleased to welcome him to the board and to add to our independent industry experience. End quote. Long Blockchain Corp., which is traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol LBCC, has entered into a non-binding letter of intent to merge with private comprehensive branding and incentive solutions provider Strand Promotional Solutions. Andy Shape, the CEO and director of LBCC, as well as the president of Strand, commented, quote, We're excited to expand Strand's visibility through this proposed transaction. We bring more than 25 years of experience building strong partnerships, cutting-edge technology solutions, and innovative custom branding programs that help our customers extend the loyalty of their brands. We see this transaction as an ideal platform for further growth opportunities for the Strand family, including our partners, customers, employees, and current and future shareholders. End quote. And messaging company Telegram has debuted a test app desktop wallet for its Gram token. According to a report from Coindesk, users can get testnet grams from a special Telegram bot asking it to send from 5 to 20 tokens. The TON blockchain project, which raised $1.7 billion US via token sale, was due to launch on October 31st, but was prevented when the US Securities and Exchanges Commission, that's the SEC, deemed grams to be unregistered securities and ask the court to prevent Telegram from delivering tokens to investors. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music.